Hi, it's Darren Ray Fonso, and I want to talk about workers' comp in the state of Washington and across America again today. Uh, what I'd like to talk about today is Facebook and how it likes to censor folks. Uh, that's not really a good thing to do, Facebook, but nonetheless, uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Because the reason I got put on Facebook restriction this time around, it's been several times this happens off and on again, and and this time it was when I was uh, posting a comment on my uh, U.S. representative's uh, Facebook page, uh, Senator Pramila Japala's page. Actually, he's Congressman woman Pramila Japala's Facebook page. I was f quoting a quote on her Facebook page as she was at my place, a former place of employment. And the face, the, actually, the comment was basically, uh, I can't remember what it was, uh, she had gone to my place of employment, which is the University of Washington Medical Center, and was telling about how great it is there and everything. And I was saying, well, they're not so great because they don't stand up for injured workers. They don't stand up for their harmed workers. And, and, and she needs to talk about that, and, and, and that needs to be addressed. And why not take that opportunity while she's there at my former employer to speak up and talk about how my former employer and the state of Washington is harming injured workers and not giving us the goods and services they mandate that we pay for through through our, our through our, our paychecks, uh, uh, through the work comp premiums they force us to pay for. Uh, nonetheless, I'm talking about being censored on Facebook. This is as you're as you're calling out your own United States representative. That needs to stop. I don't care what I call her a fucking bitch or a two-faced cunt. What the words are that I use, it doesn't matter. I have a right as an American citizen to call out my congressman and my leaders however way I see fit on their page. I didn't threaten her and I didn't bully her. What I asked her is why she's not standing up and speaking up for the injured workers as she's at my place of employment when I begged of her for the last four years to please stand up and speak up for the minimum federal standards that we need. Whether we're Republican or Democrat, we need minimum federal standards for laborers in America today. Otherwise, these states are used as tools to fleece us of the goods and services we have paid for. Nonetheless, I should be able to go on Facebook and share whatever I want to with my uh, lawmakers. This needs to stop, especially my federal lawmakers. And the state lawmakers will kick us out, and they need to stop that too. There needs to be a state law in the books in the state of Washington that says that state lawmakers cannot kick you out of their Facebook pages. This needs freedom, this, this censorship of freedom of speech needs to stop. How are we going to take over America, or how are we going to, to uh, rebuild it, or how are we going to make it great again, or how are we, what's the other one's mantra, I forget what it is, oh, uh, re, uh, unrig the system. How are we going to do any or all of that if we don't get down to the real root causes, and nobody gets honest, and nobody's able to speak the truth because they're being censored by Facebook? This needs to stop or YouTube, or any of the other internet supposedly got to let us get our world, you know, be a new world and have our thoughts and our views be heard. I'm sorry, when I go on, and, and, and I, uh, it was not that bad what I said on her page that day, and for me to get, get, get a three-day restriction once again, because the person on the other end didn't like the truth being told about her lawmaker not being truthful and honest to the, the injured workers of, the, of America today, then I'm sorry. This is not America. This is not freedom. And if Facebook is supposed to bring about social change and bring about a, a revolution, then it needs to stop censoring people. And so does the Democratic Party. And so does the Republican Party as well, too. This picking it out and making us beat up on each other is bullshit. It ain't my fellow men that has fucked me. It is rich men that have fucked me. It is businessmen that have fucked me. And that needs to be addressed. And, and, and somebody needs to take on Alec and the business community. And I'm sorry, Mr. Trump is not the man who's going to take on injured work, the, the fight for injured workers and get us the justice that we need. He could kick out every illegal immigrant today if that is his choice. That is not going to fix workers' comp for America today. I'm sorry, that's not the answer. Being mean to our brothers and booting them out the fucking door doesn't solve the problem of injured workers because they will still fuck at injured workers. We could kick everyone out today and they would still be fucking injured workers. I'm sorry to use that as an excuse to, to, to try and divide injured workers up between one another. No, injured workers need to get on the same page. We're fighting the same enemy, and it's Alec. And Alec is taking over both parties, Republicans and Democrats. And if you think Mr. Trump was going to lead us out of that shit, you're full of crap. Now, beyond that, 
does Facebook restricting me? And being able to do that as I'm sharing on Senator Chapala's page and requesting and, and, and demanding help from my senators that, that, that they stop this war that is being waged upon us and they get honest about how our state laws are being used as tools to fleece us so that the state can fill their coffers and that private vocational services can and make money. And so private uh, uh, vote, uh, not private vote, but uh, these private uh, oh, equity firms that have investments and these private IME mills are all making fucking bank while injured workers are being cheated out of the grand fucking bargain and the vocational services that we could have done. And I'm basically, and what I'm coming to see that the reason this is going on is because there probably is no jobs. Our jobs are being all sent over, so they don't want to retrain the old dogs, and they're trying to cost shift us off to the federal roles because they don't want to honor our grand bargain because they feel that, that we're not worthy of retraining, that there aren't any jobs enough for the millennials that they are giving some of the trainings to. This is cost shifting. This is uh, uh, austerity. A silent backdoor austerity war that is being waged upon aging injured workers willy-nilly on sniffs and grins, and then we have to take decades to get justice for the harm done. Someone needs to address this, and it needs to be talked about. And, 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 and when Facebook is allowing other people to censor you and call you a bully because you're calling out your lawmaker and your federal lawmaker because they are lying and being two-faced to you, then they are the ones that are being the bullies. Because we, as Americans, are the ones being bullied by federal lawmakers and state lawmakers when they cover up for ALEC as this is waging war and using our state laws to harm us instead of heal us through our health care, whether it's workers' comp or our freaking private care. Because med tort law is stacked against us just the same as the state work comp laws, and ALEC has taken our civil rights away to be able to sue doctors in a timely manner so that the harm done to this is stopped and, and this war on patients' rights and injured workers is no longer a, a, allowed to go on. And now Senator Jopala can't get honest about that, and Senator Rick Larson and all the other state lawmakers in my local area. This needs to stop. And if they're not going to get honest about it, they can't keep kicking us out of their pages. We need to be able to keep calling them out on their Facebook pages, on their Twitter pages. Wherever we want to call them out, they need to be called out. And for us to get censored, I don't care if you're Republican or a Democrat, that needs to stop. Because all our voices need to be heard. We can't come together collectively if we don't get to hear each other's side's points of view. Anyways, that's all I got today was workers' comp, Facebook and censorship and a democratic party that does not want to hear the fucking truth that it is part of a war on injured workers because of its arrogant silence of not wanting to stand up and demand federal oversight and having our unions demand federal oversight that they can do it for minimum federal wages why can't they do it for the, the aging injured workers with some minimum federal standards so that our states are not used as tools to wage war on one class by the other anyways I'll end it with there. I'll probably be on restriction again before this hits the air. So have a great day. Thanks.